See you again. How about a photo to commemorate our reunion? Folks down here in the Dust Bowl make for excellent subjects, let me tell you. Everyone here is so raw and authentic. Truly spoiled for choice. Let me know if you stumble upon any promising spots around here. There's something beautiful about these savage designs. for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Very nice. I'd say you're a first-rate photographer now. If the association had any lingering doubts about you, this latest shot should have completely dispelled them. At this rate, you'll outrank me. But hey, friendly competition never hurt anyone. This must be one of Gungaga's famous mushrooms. Only ever seen them in preserves. What a beautiful color. These look good enough to eat, and I might just do that. Conveying flavor through a visual medium is tough, but... Hey there, good to see you again. Since you're here, mind if I snap a pic of a fun guy with some fun guy? This restaurant hired me to grab a couple of shots for them to use in their menu. I'm supposed to shoot the freshest Gangaga mushrooms I can find. Gonna get pics of the scenery while I'm here. Make the most of the opportunity and all that. Let me know if you find anything picturesque.
Welcome to Gungaga, where you can taste the power of the monster. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Great work getting that shot. You really are one shrewd shutterbug. To quote the association, your talents are inimitable. You've got quite the portfolio now. Can't wait to see how it grows. My shack's never been in the best condition, but look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, I'm at wit's end here, let me tell you. Flapping and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. I don't usually see anything like that around these parts. From that black stuff to those bizarre aeroplanes, I tell you all this craziness is enough to drive a poor woman mad. The peace and quiet was the only good thing about this place. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Oh, but these two got away. PP and Peep are so easy going. They stayed right here with me without any urging. But Pippily and Pippity and Pippy and Peep, well, they didn't hesitate. Took off like lightning. <laughs> so we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Birds, they love the sound of this here clanger. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Right. Take it away. <laughs> Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area.
see who's livelier. Red or those birds. Pity I'm not a real cat. Am I right? So what are you then? I'm Kate Sip, fortune teller extraordinaire. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think it might be time to top up the old batteries. toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. My, my, what a trek you must have made to get here. Somewhere in the vicinity. Allow me to be the way. It's a long way back to town. Careful now. Yeah. 
with you in this place they call home. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say goodnight, Pippoli. <gasps> Gotta eat. your help to become a true warrior please guide me to greatness i'm so tetsu by the way with the gyc captain's been singing your praises you know telling everyone how you turn some state-of-the-art general weaponry into scrap metal oh so you heard about all that well i don't want to brag or anything but we crushed him really you have to teach me how you did that you gotta make zach proud you know friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. I haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days, and I want to do my part. And, you know, it might also be kind of cool if everyone in the Coalition called me a hero and the Captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please! I'm begging you! Huh? Wait... Me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. 
Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course. I'll do anything. <laughs> Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple, meet me over there when you're ready. For Kane. Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey! Come along, see what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. So let's see how much you've already got, shall we? After all, a ninja warrior must be able to make a tactical retreat back to her comrades when they need her. Understood, Master. Very well. Then with that, let our training begin. I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. Don't hold that. Calling ice. Now. Get him. Like the saying goes, can't see the ninjas for the trees. Great 
way more. Got more in you, cause that ain't gonna cut it. Right, I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zach told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. He called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. Her body. And mind. Start. By training. You're behind. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. And your quads. Got it. <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up?
So we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member, so it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million gil. <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. <sighs> if you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. <laughs> no money or materia required. Well, thanks, Cisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield and under the tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well... Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just... I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. Then that settles it. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. Cloud! Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living and all, but you might want to consider lowering your rates. How considerate after you consider paying me! Where's my materia? Three orbs, or two? Two is good! Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude! Oscar, do you want to play a game? Ah, you there. Don't ask how I can tell, but you're into Queen's Blood, aren't you? Isn't that great, Oscar? I found someone you can play against. <coughs> Let me introduce you. This is Oscar the Swift. He's a watch chocobo. A huge Queen's Blood fan, too. He gets cranky if he can't play at least one game a day. So, how about it? Mind going around with him?
Whoa! This is the first time I've ever seen Oscar lose! Didn't expect that! <laughs> Seems like he's a little bitter. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for indulging him. He can make it a lot harder for us to do our jobs when he's in a mood. Really, believe it or not, he's gonna make his television debut soon. He'll be up against a dog that plays Queen's Blood. And we have to make sure he wins to help drive up tourism here. <laughs> He'll pull it off. enough. Can't you see you're scaring the poor man? Sorry for all that. It doesn't take much for them to get worked up. I'm Jijun, a farmer. I should be hard at work, but my back's forcing me to take a break for a short while. Oh, do you play Queen's Blood by chance? A game would help to pass the time? Sitting around soaking up the sun is all well and good, but at this rate, it's liable to put me to sleep. You something. Why, you were running circles around me like one of those professional racing chocobos. So is that how all you young folk play these days? Oh, Queen's blood sure has changed. Us old timers can't keep up anymore. Mm. But you know, that's exactly the way it should be. You're better off harnessing that energy. While well, you've still got enough to live life to the fullest. You can sit and relax to your heart's content when you get older and your back starts giving you no say in the matter. That's why you should spend your youth getting up to all kinds of mischief. <laughs> if you ever tire yourself out though, I'll be here with my cards. 
A little downtime can do a body good. There's no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. your feet. What am I gonna do about you? <laughs> wow, that's a smell. We should go. Now. Wait, don't leave. Treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients. The pumpkin put up a fight. The knife I've got wasn't long enough to chop it in one clean go. Had to get stabby. And that bulbous bastard. The onion. I mean, I had to close my eyes while I cut it. But that might have been a bad call. I feel ya. Gungaga mushroom soup. 
It smells pretty good, all in all. Unfortunately, it's lacking in the flavor department. That's the problem. It needs something, but... I'm not sure what. Maybe some more Gungaga mushrooms would do the trick. Or a hunk of cactuar meat. Let's not. So, what more do you need? Hmm. Oh, right. Torgan's vegetables. That dog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of this stuff for me? What a sweet boar you are, staying behind for me. You'll be good to Torgan now, you hear? Did you just pay that dog money? Oh, him? That's Melon, Torgan's pup. He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgan's field are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. My boy, how'd it go today? Good? Hello. Not seen you before. How to towners? Just visiting, yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell to out of towners. Barely got enough for the locals as is. Judging by them duds you got on, you're city folk, ain't you? I ain't about to sell the bounty of my soil to young'uns who ain't never got down in the muck with me and mine. Now get. I don't know the first thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. <laughs> got an eye for the stuff. But you're telling me you got an ear too? What's this one saying? Something about how rich the soil is. How it can thrive and spread its roots deep, grow big and strong. I'll be. Oh, quit with the guilt tripping now, will ya? You know perfectly well I wasn't gonna leave them high and dry. Huh. We ain't seeing any more customers today, I reckon. So whatever we got left over is yours for the taking. <sighs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. They finally learned to talk back. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually trying to make Gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? Any advice would be great. Hmm. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality Gungaga mushrooms. Or better yet, some Maganga mushrooms. They'll take that soup of yours to the next level. Things are on a hill near you, but unless you got one hell of an eye, better to rely on a chocobo. They're flavorful suckers, so three caps ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your bird from getting all at it. The aroma can be mighty powerful. And be mindful of the beasties, too. A lot of types are awful fond of the mushroom scent. Gotcha. Ah, and you can't forget the salt. Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. 
And Magunga mushrooms being what they are, you're gonna want to savor it. The proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Melon, you get them where they need to go. <laughs> Slightly different colors. Let's see. Well, one of these auto match Torkin's picture. feels like a waste to grind them up. All right, I think we've got plenty of salt now. Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Torkin said we'll need a chocobo to sniff them out.
must be the area Torgan was talking about. Though we're gonna need a chocobo to search. to the birds. the sack it goes. Picking, Mr. Merck. Or 
one more to go. Let's use the chocobos to find the last mushroom. in farming that should be it for the mushrooms yep looks like we're done done 
Let's get this stuff to Cisne. Enjoy your new home in the trash can. Am I ever gonna get this right? We come bearing ingredients. Why don't you give it one more shot? I can pitch in too. Well, since you guys went to the trouble. Okay, one more shot. inviting me over for dinner. Thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison, apparently. But as you can see, I'm a sore loser. Cooking's never as easy as you think. Cut that right. Didn't need to learn back in Midgar. The company provided all our meals. Tasted like garbage, though. Don't know how I stomach the stuff. That bad, huh? <laughs> but what about the bomb berry flavor? <laughs> Bomberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Uh, sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup! Time to taste test! <gasps> Whoa there! Might want to let it cool. Right. Oops. That's pretty good. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just know the fairs are gonna love it. Great job!